Hello everyone, welcome to Acing Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity which has been released by Bharat Electronics. Now this recruitment process, for this recruitment process, we can go to the official website and look out for uh, the various notifications and the notification for recruitment of Project Engineer 1 post. Uh, you can see and you can go and click on the detailed notification video over here. So it's a 10 page notification which is released. Now it is partly in Hindi and partly in uh, English. Now the vacancies have been released for four year BTEC students in electronics, electronics communication, communication engineering, electrical electronics, electrical engineering students primarily. Now total number of vacancies which are released are 20 and um, the recruitment basis will be for you know consolidated remuneration per month have been mentioned. Now for four years of recruitment, uh, obviously this this is mentioned because this position must be on a temporary basis. Yes, this is on a contract basis, right? All of these 20 positions are on contract basis for four years. For first year, it will be 40,000 per month. Second year, it will be 45,000 per month. Third year will be 50,000 and fourth year will be 55,000 per month. Now, place of posting and postcode have been mentioned. Karwar, Vizag and Kolkata, right? In Karwar, there are two positions which are released, 14 positions in Vizag and in Kolkata, there are released four positions, right? Now, apart from that, um, reservation of posts will be as per the Government of India norms. 4% of the vacancies are reserved for the uh, PWPD candidates, that is physically handicapped candidates. Now, you can see the uh, age criteria as well, right? The maximum age limit is 32 years as on 1st of August 2025. The above mentioned upper age limit is for general and EWS category and obviously it will be relaxable for our uh, reservation candidates as well. So 3 years for OBC, 5 years for SCST and 10 years for physically handicapped candidates. Right. Now uh, for project engineer 1 position, uh, the remuneration has ob obviously been mentioned uh, in the above table. Now, in addition to the remuneration indicated above, a consolidated amount of 12,000 per year will also be paid towards the reimbursement of the expenses like medical insurance premium, uh, life insurance premium, uniforms, stitching charges, footwear allowance and other allowances as well, right? Now, uh, project engineers who join as project engineer one and complete four years of tenures will be entitled for a retention bonus of 25,000 for every completed year. So you'll be also given 25,000 rupees extra for every completed year. However, the retention bonus will be payable at the end of four years. So after your four years of recruitment, uh, the training has been completed, uh, training or the partial temporary basis employment has been completed. After four years, you'll be paid one lakh rupees, right? In addition to your monthly remuneration. Apart from that qualification, as told you, you need to have a bachelor's degree. Uh, post qualification experience, do you need to have? Yes, minimum two years of post qualification experience, you are required to have uh, to join in this particular position, right? Minimum two years of post qualification experience in the field of installation and commissioning of electronics and electrical systems, integration of electrical or embedded systems for any project. Right, can be a private project, can be a government project as well. Right, now apart from that, candidates possessing the above indicated post qualification requirement will only need to apply teaching, research work experience in non profit organization, internship, project work, placements which are part of academic curriculum will not be allowed. So Academic, uh, academic experience will not be considered as experience. Keep this in mind, right? So it is not for those kind of candidates who have that kind of experience in academics. Candidates should also possess uh, experience certificates and documents issued by the previous organization. Selection process. So um, Candidates meeting the eligibility criteria will be called for a written test of 85 marks. So there will be a written test of 85 marks and based upon that selection will continue. 
um, now the candidates will be shortlisted for interview as well once your exam is over in the ratio of 1 is to 5. Right, so 5 times more students will be called for interview and 15 marks will be allotted to the interview. Right. Now, the minimum qualifying marks in the written test and interview are 35% and based upon that, you will be considered. Apart from that, the venue of written test and interview will be intimate later, intimated later. And last date of fulfilling uh, the registration is 13th of September 2025. This is very, very important. 13th of September 2025 is your last date of uh, consideration for fulfilling this uh, profile. Now documents, obviously your mark sheets, your BTEC degree or your provisional certificate, whatever you have, mostly it, by now you should have your degree as well before uh, obviously you need to have your experience also. Pay slips also you need to mention, employment details also wherever you are employed currently. Now what is the application fees? It is 472 rupees, uh, especially uh, 472 rupees for unreserved category students and it is an OBC also. The candidates physically handicapped SCST categories will be exempted from any uh, kind of payment of application fees. Other things are also mentioned like general instructions and everything that you can consider if you have any doubts in regard of this recruitment process. It is freely available on the official website of bell right so thank you for watching this video i hope i was able to give you the required information which was required required for the recruitment process do like this video share it with your friends if you think it will be helpful for them subscribe to our channel if there is any doubt you can also comment in the comment section thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video